What's up guys, Tao here. Uh, in front of me there are three graphics card, uh, Sapphire RX 480, uh, EVGA GDX 980 SC and EVGA GDX 1050 Ti. Um, I've been testing these three graphics cards uh, within my Hackintosh system and just to edit within the Final Cut Pro just to see how well these three cards perform. I actually done a uh, testing uh, before uh, is between the very old uh, Ryzen HD 5A70 and this EVG GDX uh, 980SC. Um, at the time, uh, I had a X99 system. I could not get the hardware acceleration and Intel Quick Sync enabled within that, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, so now this, I've changed the system. So I'm gonna just retest the whole uh, graphics card, retest the whole system again, just to see how these three graphics card perform. Right, before we dive into the result, let me just tell you guys the setup for the testing. Uh, to go with the Sapphire RX 480 is the uh, WD PCIe Black M.2 SSD, it's PCIe based. Uh, to go with the two uh, NVIDIA graphics card uh, is the Intel M.2 SSD, it's SATA based. And the, the actual editing drive is on a crucial 2.5 inch uh, SSD, uh, it's MX300. Um, now, the whole system uh, runs on the 10.13.5, the high Sierra, will be the same system and same version of the Final Cut Pro. Uh, if you want to test as well, you can download the Final Cut Pro from the Apple website uh, for 30 day trial, it's fantastic. To test the actual performance, uh, there will be two main steps involved. One is the rendering time and the second is exporting time. Uh, I will use exactly the same uh, test uh, clips from the last video, uh, so uh, I will be uh, do a 4K video uh, clip rendering and exporting and the normal 1080p video rendering and exporting and also a Bruce X 5K rendering and exporting. Uh, so that will be uh, the same across the whole three graphics cards. Okay, um, here comes the result. For the render time, uh, as you can see from the table, you guys probably um, expect it. RX 480 will actually will outperform both NVIDIA graphics card. So the RX 480 rendered just under the 30 seconds for the Brew X 5K. And the 4K video rendered just over two minutes, what, two and a half uh, minutes. And the 90 SC and the 1050 Ti, they both rendered the longer time than the RX 480. So you guys probably think, yeah, this is no expected. Hold your horses, guys. Now, check out the export time. So the GTX 1050 Ti actually take less time to export the Brute X 5K and less time to export 1080p video and less time to export 4K video. So that actually outperformed the 90 SC as well. It's like, what? That's such a small graphics card and single fan edition and cheap, well, re relatively cheap graphics card outperform those two heavy duty graphics cards. It's like mind blowing. Right, what did the result mean? Well, to me is Nvidia is playing a catch up game very, very fast. Now, uh, since the iOS Sierra, so the NVIDIA driver actually performed extremely well in terms of the system stability and for my instance, the Final Cut Pro within the Hackintosh. Now, don't get me wrong, when you use the 1080 Ti uh, within the Final Cut Pro, do a rendering and exporting the performance really, really good but there is huge but. So when you do a timeline scrubbing, especially in the 4K, so the 1080, 1080? Uh, the, 1050, the 1050 Ti, you do feel a little bit laggy, is not quite smooth as the 90 SE and the RX 480. Yeah, so, uh, but if you want to have a budget Hackintosh uh, for video editing or image editing, now the 1050 Ti is a fantastic choice, given the price range. Now, bear in mind these two cards, the um, 480, IS 480 and the 90, they're both quite old. The 1050 Ti is based on the Pascal architecture. So, 
is a big thumbs up and for value hacking touch maybe. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you guys surprised. I was certainly surprised uh, for the performance of the NVIDIA uh, within Hackintosh in the Final Cut Pro, especially with hardware, in, uh, hardware uh, acceleration. Now the key to make the NVIDIA graphics card perform, uh, outperform the uh, AMD card uh, in terms of the exporting time is the hardware acceleration. Now there is a special link I will be posting down in the description. Please check it out. Uh, that actually is a secret way to, well not secret, uh, there's a uh, way to make the hardware insul uh, installation um, acceleration perform really really well with this NVIDIA card. So yeah, please check the link. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please click on the like and share with others. And if you want to keep up with my channel, please subscribe it as well. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh shit. Can't, can't reach it.